Plus a nigga big shit Big shit, big shit, big shit Name another podcast like this Check it this ain't nothing but some balls. Yeah, dope. yeah, you get a double dose, man. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you play a song. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This ain't this ain't that regular thing, man. <laughs> this ain't that, man. Yeah. I love this song. I love this song. I got this out the kitchen. This ain't nothing but some balls talk. When I talk, they pay attention. You can learn something. You better listen. Better listen. Yeah. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique yeah. hustle. It's your boy ECEO. And I'm Money Most by the way. And we create content every damn day. Man, so hey, man. What's up, Money Moses? What's up, man? Say, man, that boy be. Hey, anytime the rapper show up, I know you coming, I baby. Gotta pull up. Yeah, that boy. Hey, that boy yeah, rap a little bit, too. Yeah, sir. Yeah, Just man. A Just a little bit. I'm going to start back. Say, man, hey, check after, it, man. After we blow up, I'm going to start rapping. Already, we working? Yeah. Hey, man, check it, man. B Hamp is in the building, baby. How hey, you doing? I'm good. I'm man, good. Yeah, I'm man. Good. Hey, man, I feel hey, I feel honored for you to be here, man. Me too. Every time the steppers come in, the ones who really paid the way for Dallas, man, yeah. oh, I get real excited, man. Yeah, oh, man. Oh, man, I think y'all. Hey, you, you know, know I always notice something. Going. Hold on, let me start before you get started. Yeah. When y'all boogie era started, I was in Louisiana. And yeah. when I moved to Dallas, it's like, when I look at y'all now, it be like I wouldn't have thought y'all made made yeah. biggest songs. Nah, because all sure. y'all when I see y'all, y'all be looking like y'all big niggas, gangster niggas. I'm not like y'all yeah. making gangster songs, I mean, songs like that. Yeah, but I wouldn't expect y'all to make them songs. Man, I ain't gonna lie, that for what you just said, that saved me like at a, a, a lot of spots. Yeah, I don't. I go into it like for a show. Niggas and came up to me and was like, "Man, we was gonna get you till you walked in and seen you a big old." Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I, don't, I, don't I didn't even think there. like that. That should be yeah, crazy. Yeah, but it's just what people don't understand though with the boogie movement, it really was uh that's just what was going on. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. It was really going on everywhere, but we just kinda put music to it. Well let me let's let's go back a little bit. Where okay. I wanna go back to uh when you first uh First of all, you from Dallas. Mm-hmm. What part of Dallas? Pleasant Grove. Right. You from the Grove? Like literally down the street. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. So I know Saint that Augustine. I, man, I was right there. I, we was right. I, I grew up right here on uh, John West and all these apartments. That was mm. Solo used then to I be at. To, uh, Shout out, uh, yeah, he did. Now R. I. P. Solo. Yeah, I went to B. H. Macon Elementary. Wow. Down there. Then wow. I had moved. I had moved out to. Um, first, we moved to North Dallas. Then I moved to Arlington. So by the time I got in uh, middle school, I was in Arlington. Wow. Out there. So moving a lot. Yeah. Was mom and dad together? Oh, uh, that had split up. That's what made they us broke move out up. that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. How did that affect you? Uh, being was, a young kid. Being a young kid, you know, I'm not really thinking because I was still coming back and forth. I ain't gonna lie, like. Uh, so you had the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah, kind of. You know what I'm saying? I had the best of both worlds, but you know, as you get older and you become like a man yourself. You do see different things, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But back then when I was young, shit, I was like, all right, well, I still get to see my pops, but, and, uh, you know, I'm still, in, I'm still in both of my people's life. But, you know, as you get older, you start thinking like, well, damn, you should have did this, huh? that should have happened. But it didn't, it didn't really affect me. It just made me a better man as I got older, I'll say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I about to ask you, what would you do different that your mom and dad did that you wouldn't do? Uh... Uh, I say I'm doing it now, you know what I'm saying? As far as uh, being a father, I got all daughters and I got custody of all of them. Wow, that, I'm that's dope. Girls. I'm like that too. So yeah, so that's, that's dope. That's one reason why you know I kind of be you don't really hear nothing from me no more. I just kind of be ducked off because I was raising them. Wow, man, how many like of them? Five. I got five, five girls, yeah. and you raise all of them. Uh huh. Are you so, a single parent? Yeah. That's that's you know what I'm oh man, hey, man the fish Miss Jamaica would have ate that up. You want to know what's crazy about that? The people that's like that, why they don't ever get help from like uh, like own peers? Though? I know they got kids stuff, so yeah. like they they don't get help from people that they need to get help from. Man, yeah. uh, one thing I can say about that is I kind of feel like like when I say and when I say that I'm not saying like they moms not in their lives at all. You know what I'm saying? Because they moms is there. It's just they with me. You know, I chose the duty to take full full time on them and, you know, put my all into them. And it wasn't like it was a, uh, it's not like it was a disagreement. We kind of agreed on it for the better of, of, the, of the kids and, you know, just the whole situation. I was able to be there more and be a better parent at the time, you know? Wow, BM, so, BM got five but, girls. Uh, I, I feel like for, you know, to answer your question, I feel like a lot of people, for one, they don't kind of put it, like a lot of people don't put it out there to say, all right, I need help or, you know, Yep. Look out for me You know what I'm saying Cause I, I can be honest with you I have people telling me all the time Man y'all need a YouTube Just off of like When I do post no, videos no, 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 of us truth. 
yeah, when I post videos of us, everybody say, man, y'all, like, bro, y'all are just pure comedy. Like, y'all. That's right. Y'all you, y'all show, like, good times happening. It's like, you need to do YouTube. And I'm just like, man, I don't really know if I want to put my kids, like, this is my prop. Like, this is my this is my home. And yeah. I ain't really know if I wanted to just put it out there like I that. I get it, man. But, but, but I know, I know. I, I, I get it, things. but it's like, it's almost like it's an opportunity. Um, yeah, it is. But I think I looked at it more so of, I took it out from my experience with, with the industry and stuff. Then I'm kind of like, that's where that falling is coming in. Like, man, I want to protect my kids. And can't nobody tell you how to yeah. do you. Church, you know yeah, I, mean? I, under, sure. I understand it, boy. Because yeah. uh, I, I've been there two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. And Congratulations. they took uh, the picture at the hospital. The picture at the hospital, they on Facebook already. Like, they got 400, exactly. they got 400 and some shares. Exactly. Like I'm like, I don't you know want my kids on social media like they're already. Exactly. Because like, I used to post, I ain't gonna lie, I used to post my daughters every day. Like, I, like us, I post us every day. But it was, I started, it was the comments that was being made on the pictures and the uh, stuff, like just people just saying stuff. It's like you can't have fun with your own yeah, kid like somebody being negative. It's like, it's always something. It, it was either negative or it was disrespect. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, I don't want to do that. You but know? we black men get disrespected the most. Of course. And people don't, don't see that though. But nobody, yeah, nobody say nothing about that. But it was this what really made me say, all right, I am done. Like, y'all going to get them. Y'all, y'all going to post them when I want you to see them. I had posted uh, a picture of my daughter. You know what I'm saying? In the whole caption, I'm bigging my daughter up, like, you know, straight A student, doing good. You know, she she come home. She, you know, if I need her, she there to be a big sister for her sisters. You know, just everything. A great, big, long message. And a girl got on there and pointed out, where her bra at? <laughs> like, she was, 12, she was 12, you know what I'm saying? Little kids, just forming, but you pointed that out. For everybody, like, but why she didn't have a church? She exactly. could have inboxed you or somebody. You could have inboxed her. me there. Exactly, exactly. But the the point of that, it was stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? That people were right on there. Right? You no, know, I'm just like, come on, bro, y'all, y'all. Instead of instead of you saying something about that message, you want to point out something that's gonna take everybody's attention to that. And I'm just like, at at the time, I know how my daughter's is. My daughter's innocent. You know, our kids are innocent. So I'm just like, I don't. I just went in protect mode. Like I'm a, I'd rather I'd rather cover you up and take all of the, the bullets than to put you in the fire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but at some point, at you some point, to. they're yeah. going to go anyway. Yeah, you got to, and that's how, that's where we at now. How old my, are they? My uh, 15, 14, 13, 11, and eight. They already that 15 yeah, so, year old. She already want to be on there. Exactly. Well, I let them, I let them have social yeah. media now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it was like I either got a you know, I, I'm not gonna be, I'm strict on them. I'm still gonna let you know what it is, but I'd rather you let me know. Like, I'd rather know what's going on than you trying to hide it and do it behind my back. Oh, I get it. So we got like a bond so close and tough that I, everybody say, hey man, you got daughters. And I'm like, yeah, but there's a, I, I done built my bond close enough to where my daughters is open with me. We talk yeah. about everything, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna keep it real with them. I, yeah. I talk to them like how we sitting here talking, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So they know, like, yeah. Okay. Well, now, nah. you know, I told them, y'all know you, y'all getting older, y'all finna like little boys and stuff. Y'all might already like them now, but you gotta know what's what. You gotta know who gonna be real, who you know, mm-hmm. who just trying to get to you, all of that. Like, yeah, you, but you gotta understand that too. Yeah. Like, you can always tell them, but they're not gonna actually. They know, gonna, now, yeah. They gonna know until they actually get into that exactly. situation. So, so I started doing stuff like this because you know, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm a, I'm a funny person. They on the phone with somebody. Who you on the phone with? Let me see it. Give me the phone. I do the same thing to my niece. You know what I'm saying? Get on the phone. Hey, what's up? What's up? Uh, I can tell you how you, if you, I can tell how you talk to somebody, daddy. Yeah, you'll get nervous. Yeah. Bro. Like, if you get nervous, if you, you get you nervous, cool. you cool. And it's like, all right, cool. Yeah. And I, it's all about how you, the, the first words. Mm-hmm. If I say, what's up? And you be like, what's up? Or you say, how you doing, sir? I'm like, yeah. okay, you, well, you respectful. But if you like, what's up? And I'm like, shit, what's up, man? What you, what you want, bro? What you doing? What you over there? Ah, oh, nothing. Nah. Woo, 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 woo. Like, all right. So, what's your intentions? Ah, oh, that's just my friend. Oh, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even ask like, that question. My I, I just I'm be, a tall nigga. I wouldn't ask that question. Yeah, because I, if I'm, you say somebody lying, then I'm gonna go off. So I wouldn't exactly. ask that question. But see, what I do is I I do that, and then I give him the phone back. Let him finish talking. Then when they get out the phone, I tell him, Hey, look, he gonna blow, 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 blow. and they gonna be like, they like, you don't know what you're talking about. Then they do it. 
It's like, Daddy, this man, this boy did what you said. I said, Yeah, I know. It's the same, I been there. same stuff over and over. Yeah, I've been that person. I tell my daughters all the time, keep it 100 with me because there's nothing you can get past that I ain't already done. Mm-hmm. I done did it all. Like, believe me. And I, I catch them before they even get to the steps of doing it. Then that's when they, I show them. I'm like, Man, y'all, I catch y'all every time. If whatever it is you're trying to do, I catch it before you even try to do it. And that's when they started to realize, like, I commend you for being yeah. a being a parent like that. Nah, for sure. That's I, dope, man. Like yeah. I never would have. You just dropped one on me. Like I didn't know you. Yeah. Is it the same mother? Uh, three. I got three, three by one, yeah. and then one and one. Okay, so, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I got three baby mamas. I get yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Well, I can't say it's this. life. Yeah, I can say this. I only had one child outside, like after I started doing music. Really? Yeah. So all my kids were before I started. Oh. So that's crazy. Yeah. So when you when you did that kind of inspire you to go harder? Uh, I, I ain't gonna even say it did because back then so I was younger, so my mom wasn't on. Uh, I was just like, shit, I was trying to make some shape. I was yeah. gonna be a good daddy regardless. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? That's what that I knew that for sure. Yeah. But what I can say is, I saw what it what it did make me do was as far as a parent, it made me. It made me change certain things about my music and stuff that I wanted to put out and do. Yeah, because it's a lot of stuff that I could rap about and say, mm-hmm. but I kind of, I kind of, I, I hold myself away from doing it because uh, my daughters. And, of course, you know what I'm saying. So, um, okay, so let's 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 go into the. Is it the song that that everybody know? Yeah, Ricky Bobby. The Ricky Bobby. Yeah. Let, let's go into how this all happened. You know. Man, uh, I want I want to I want to I want to understand how and what were were you the first with the boogie movement or were you the second uh, or was it already happening or it, I think it was it was it was starting okay because it was, was who, who else was had, it I think it was had, Fat Pimp the other day yeah. I mean to cut y'all was it Fat Pimp I, I, I don't know who I was I was in Louisiana uh, I well, came like it, on what did Fat Pimp say that he yeah he did the boogie uh, he, he was, was in it yeah he was in it with that a rag daddy yep. Yeah, he said he was, in was that first or was that? Uh, yeah, that was before my song. Okay. Uh, so you had like the Rag Daddy was starting. You had uh, Lil Will Dougie. Yeah, my Dougie was moving. Uh, man, it was a lot of you had a lot of stuff. It was a lot, like Lil Ronnie had heels out yet. Nah, Lil Ronnie wasn't that shit. Okay. It was uh, Lil Ronnie was like Bone Home Girl. Yeah, but all that came Bone came after me. Okay, like, right. Everything, everybody kind of blew up at the like same time. Yeah, it's like everybody music kind of dropped at the same time. They probably was months before. You know what I'm saying? It probably had only been like a few months before you started hearing like that you heard other music because you had like watch me do this. And, yeah, yeah. You know, you had that. That was the that's the beginning of the boogie movement right there. And then everybody just kind of started going after that. You had like Cloud Records. And Lil Peace and you know what I'm saying, Triple D, Nino and Star, yeah. Boy Star, you had them that kind of started the movement. And then from there, it's just like we all kind of just dropped at the same time. Everybody just dropped because at one point in time, you probably had uh, 15 DF Dub artists that that was in the club, like rotating in the club and that they booking us to come. And Who was pushing them? Perform. Like was that Cloud Records doing that? Pushing nah, us on? that was uh. Who was pushing this 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 music like that? It was the DJs. They were just pushing it, spinning it. The DJs. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. You what gotta, studio did you record in? I I recorded at this dude, this white dude named Steve Paul. He was right Steve in Steve Paul. Yeah. Okay. And Steve Paul was when I say little like nerdy dude, like you probably thinking, man, this nigga ain't finna mix my stuff right and. I'm gonna say I had the best sound coming out of here. Okay, as far so as mixing and mastering mm-hmm. wise, who? How did you get that beat? Who produced it? Uh, Young Star. Young Star produced yeah. it. Were you signed to anybody or no? Nah, when we when we first it was did independent. The, yeah, I was independent my whole career. So I what mean, about now? Like when do royalties or anything come behind the music? Yeah, yeah, okay. I still get paid off that. That's what I thought. So yeah, I still get paid off of it. So, um, how do you I get did, paid I, off of? Let's talk about that. Okay, the way you get paid off of. A lot of people gotta understand that they think, okay, well, I drop a song, I'm supposed to get booked for shows. Nah, that take a while. Everything take a while. But okay, you get your royalty checks from streams. So, okay, well, streams, this was the streaming radio era. Play, yeah, but well, this was where when the boogie there was a pre the streaming era. There was pre streaming era. Yeah, era. So you still had CDs and stuff. Uh, we we it was YouTube. That was that was the start of it. You, the start of YouTube, uh, 
anytime it's on the radio, so anytime it play on the radio, and a lot of times you got to get over a hundred spins before you even start getting seeing some type of check. Yeah. So uh, radio, even if you heard it in elevators, you know, restaurants, mm-hmm. wherever, like that, and they didn't know how to connect to the club yet, but they do now. You know what I'm saying? You get people don't know you can get paid from that. How? Because uh, DJs, DJs now use Serato. Okay. So Serato, if a DJ has their stuff like set up the correct way, it'll monitor, you know, what's being played. And, really? Yeah, and it'll det- you know to detect and show what's being played. I never knew that. Yeah, <laughs> it's I'm so many to... ways for people to like. It's so many ways to like make money. Yeah. And you probably just told a lot of people that they didn't even know. Yeah. Exactly. You know, because I didn't know that. And then they have people like they have people that go to the clubs just to detect. Really? Yeah, what songs is playing? Like, okay, well, we heard this song. This song this so and so. All right, that's been played this many times. This many, you know what I'm saying? Like that. Like it's it's a lot. That's why I, when I go places, I'm gonna say what's up to everybody because you don't even know who in. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you're right. Who well, you shaking. Go back to when you first started uh, do the Ricky Bobby mm-hmm. and you wrote that song, right? Mm-hmm. And you had a producer that you used. Mm-hmm. And so when you wrote it, what you already had wrote songs before? I was in a group. That okay. was my first solo song I ever did by myself. Okay, you okay. Know? So, you know, everybody, when you're young, you rapping with your partners and stuff like that. That's what I did. And that, I had said, I said the hook to Ricky Bobby in my verse. And everybody was like, damn, what's the Ricky Bobby? Like shit, I don't know. Like, <laughs> do the Ricky Bobby. It was just one move at first, and I only came up with it. I only said it because I had just watched just watched Talladega Nights, and it was the first movie that made me like laugh out loud. Like, yeah, literally, I was. I'm a person. I laughed to myself like, oh, yeah, you know that. Yeah, that yeah, funny. yeah, yeah. But that was a movie. So I was laughing. Like, yeah, man, that's it. Funny, like it's stupid, stupid funny. So I just said it in the verse. Do the Ricky Bobby stop? Pose for the frame, and I dip, and we all do the same thing. So then everybody like, damn, that's that's dope. And I had a partner in Fort Worth that I used to go record at his house. And he like, man, bro, you need to go on, like, do it. He said, I'm gonna tell y'all start whip the beat up. He kind of orchestrated it, like, yeah, hey. So I'm like, bet. I had a job. I took out work, got off work, came, recorded my verse, took it to uh, my baby mama. My manager was my baby mama daddy. I knew he had. I knew he was in the mix of like the industry a little bit. Well, not the industry, but like the clubs. I know you knew DJ, certain DJ. So I took it to him just to see what he thought. Like, what you think about this? And uh, I remember he take it to the car. Like when I first gave it to him, he was watching TV. You know, I'm paying me no attention. So I'm like, oh, I said, that's that's all he already fuck. I'm fuck fuck now, you know. Me go. So you was kind of nervous about it. You like, oh. yeah, cause I this is my first time like recording a song by myself. Yeah. Like I ain't know nobody was gonna think about it. So he go to the car. He listened to it. He stopped it. I said, oh, he cut it off too fast. You know, he ain't, he ain't gonna like it. Cause I'm listening through, I'm sitting in the other room, you can hear it through the garage. So I'm like, man, he ain't like he cut it off too fast. Came back on. I said, oh, okay, all right. He listened to it a little more, got to the, uh, got past the first verse, cut it off again. I said, oh, no, I ain't messing with it. He coming out, he like, this you. I said, yeah, this me. He said, you wrote this. I said, yeah, I wrote every word. He said, you made the beat? I said, nah, my homeboy made the beat. He said, so, your partner made this beat. Nobody else. Like, y'all ain't get it off of it. And I said, nah, he made that beat. He said, all right. This ain't nothing else. I was like, man, you know what that mean? <laughs> Next day, he called. He said, so you, this is your song. You did all this. I said, yeah. He said, all right, I'm going to give it to G-Rock. And uh, I'm going to see what G-Rock said. I remember G-Rock. Yeah. So, G-Rock, uh... He called me. That was on a that was on a Wednesday. He called me that Thursday. He said, "Hey, on Sunday you are gonna perform at Rhythm City." Rhythm City, at the time, was the top club. You know what I'm saying? Busy club out here. So I'm like, "Damn, I'm finna perform in Rhythm City." Well, that you night, you nervous? Man, I was super nervous. I'm talking about didn't know what to do. Like, man, these people finna boo me. Like, man, I don't know what's finna go on. But and it, at the time too. He had Lil Will performing that night. He had uh, Damn D. He had uh, Dad Dick yeah. 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 That's yeah. when his song was like it was hidden. It was hidden. You know what I'm saying? 
So he had he had him, Lil Will was Lil Will stuff was moving with the my Dougie, uh Trap Squad Cartel. Remember them? Look, my mom cool. Yeah. Yeah. Had them, like, uh, had the uh traps the uh the giddy big, all these people there performing. Yeah. And he like, you gonna go right before uh Damn D, cause Damn D was closing it out. So I'm like, damn nigga, you gonna put me on before the nigga with the biggest song? I ain't get it. I ain't get it at all. I I went out there, performed. I'm like, man, this crowd is not finna. They want to see Damn D. They and all these other people. They don't know me. Yeah. Shit, I thought when I started performing the song, I just seen how they started moving to it. They I was loved like, oh, yeah. They liked it. Yeah. And then from there on, shit, it just kept going. Kept going. It moved so fast that I was like, that 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 was in July, but August the song was on the radio. Wow. So did it go gold? Uh yeah. 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 So it's still like to this day, like I'm still getting streams off of it and I ain't even and I ain't did no promotion or none of that. Man, no. The last time you performed? Uh Saturday. Saturday? Yeah, in San Antonio. Oh yeah, you it yeah. went down. So you yeah. can you book and show? Me so Tiki you still do the music uh, still full time? Nah, um I still do it, but I don't, I ain't been like recording nothing or nothing like that. Yeah, I, been ain't pushing I've been, I kinda parenting. been out, uh I've been parenting, but at the same time too, I kinda I lost the I lost the fun in it, and I didn't want to be. I'm not a person. I don't like wasting nobody's time. Yeah, I'm like you know what I'm saying. So I'm not gonna tell you. Uh, let's go to the studio and let's work. If I know I'm not finna go in here and give you my all. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying. Uh -huh. So I ain't gonna waste nobody's time. So I'm yeah, gonna be, I ain't been in the studio or ain't recording none, none of that because I know I know mentally I wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I yeah. get it. I get it. It gotta yeah. be. It gotta be. It definitely gotta be mm -hmm. in you, not on you, right? Yeah. Because when and how I knew that, I started when I was recording songs. I'm like, I'm saying the same shit over and over. Yeah. Like I'm just saying it in different ways. Like, nah, I don't like that. So, did you do a whole album on that? Mm -hmm. that, that okay. Did you have any features on there? Uh, I had local features. Like okay. I ain't had no. I had the one big artist I had. I had Deron Jones from One Twelve. Okay. You know, and uh, I had did a I had did a distribution deal. Okay. And you it's know, distribution deal is that's like we doing that ourselves now. TuneCore, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, they was saying they, I, we let them choose a the song. The song they went with was like that song, but but it was a, I was the first rap artist on the gospel distribution. Like, wow, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? I thought that too. Like that's dope. You know they going because they want to. They gonna step. push you out, but did they yeah. hold you back? It messed me up because they don't know. They know gospel. Okay. They don't know hip hop. But so everything literally that's why I say I'm an independent artist because I am independent. Yeah. Everything I done was me. Me okay. and my manager. Like going everywhere, pushing, doing what we supposed to do. Mm hmm But we let them choose a song that and it uh I feel like they that ruined everything. Because they there was an R and B song. No you can't put no R and B song out during the, you know, yeah. rap time. Yeah. When they want your club music. Yeah. So instead of that, we should have went with the club song. Yeah. And I feel like that's what messed me up. But then I started to pick it back up, like being consistent. Like y'all said, y'all yeah. drop every day. Yeah. That's what I started doing. I started shoot. I was shooting a video. I was dropping a video every week. What? That's dope. Yeah. Like you I start had, seeing something from yeah, there, right? yeah. I start at, when I said I was, like when I stopped rapping, I had four songs on the radio out here. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Four songs. I had three of my own songs, and then I had a freestyle. Wow. And that's, that came from being consistent, dropping a video every Sunday, you know, dropping a, dropping something. Every time I drop a freestyle or a song, I'm, I'm shooting a video to it. Shoot the video and put it out. Hey, do you think it's easier gun radio now or was it back then? Uh, back then it was easier because cool. you had more people that was in the streets. You had more DJs that was in tune that was like, you know, they can, they can vouch for it and say, hey, now nah, this song hot in the club. And it was easier because this is what I used to do. I'm finna go and put y'all on my formula. I got my music out there. The best way to to get something popping is to for it come from people you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because like they see y'all together. Mm -hmm. So if you come and say Boss Talk One on One is the hottest thing out, they not gonna believe you. Ain't nobody gonna listen to you. Yeah, because they gonna think y'all you just vouching for it because that's your people. But if if I, I see him and I don't know, you know, that he know y'all, he like, man, Boss Talk one on one, 
That's what's up. Boo, 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 boo. I'm like, damn, what's that? I'm gonna I'm gonna go look at it. I'm gonna be like, damn, that is dope. Okay. But if I, I I don't know. He with y'all, he here every day. You he really promoting for y'all. And I don't know that. Mm-hmm. That's the best way to get consumers. You know what I'm saying? Okay. To get people to pay attention. So what we used to do was if I, I have when I knew who was on the radio, I learned everybody that was on the radio. I can hear them by their voice. I know who's who. One day the new program director was on the radio, filling in for somebody. I'm like, hey, that's the program director. I started texting people. I'm like, hey, call up there and say, I tell one girl, call up there and say, hey, man, I heard this song. I don't know, I don't know. It sounds like be him, but I don't know if it's him. And it go like this. Oh, go to work, go to work, go to work. Something like that. Can y'all play that song for me? He's like, all right, bet. They got to write down anytime somebody call in and say something. So boom, that's one girl. 15 minutes later, I have a, a dude call in. Hey, call up there and say, hey, y'all got some song that say, uh, go to work, go to work, go to work. I've been hearing it in the club. I was hearing it, I just left the club. You know, and they was playing that song mm-hmm. in there. Can y'all play that song for me? Boom, then I had somebody call and say, hey, I heard the DJ talking about B-Hamp, new song. Can y'all play that for me? Like, you that's gonna start, yeah. Just keep putting in the I, head. I had like six people seed. call, yeah. Had six people call and say different things each time, like they didn't know. When I say uh, an hour later, the DJ t- that was there with him texted me and said, hey, he just told me to play your new song. I got you. The DJ made it seem like he was the one that did it. I'm not going to tell him, hey, I did that. No, nah, man, thank you, bro. I got you. Anything you need from me, let me know. I'm going I'm to do it because I want you to feel like you did that. That means you're going to push it even harder. But I know I'm the one that did it. But I'm still gonna give you the credit for hustling. it. Hustling, I like yeah, that. You know what I'm saying? Hustling. I'm still give you the credit for it. And then next you know, 30 minutes later, they playing it on the radio. It was in, in rotation, mix show, all of it. Wow. I hadn't even put the song in the club yet. So you did it yourself. Yeah. It's just stuff like that that you gotta, artists gotta learn to do. You know, just more than just artists, people in general. People in general. You gotta learn how to get people to How to yeah. maneuver. That's yeah. Smart. Yeah, that, I yeah. like that, man. I, I like the way that you did that. And I think that the people that's listening should take heed to that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I'm gonna use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. Sure. And that's how I, I, I'm not no artist. I'm not gonna hold no game from nobody. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's plenty of artists and people that come up, uh, might see me on something and then reach out and be like, hey, bro, man, what I need to do for this and that and that. And I'll tell them, hey, do this. Do that, do this. Like, I can't, I can't tell you that it's gonna blow you up, but this I can tell you this is just a start. You know what I'm saying? This will help you get in the right doors. Holler at this person, go get at that person. I don't mind doing that. You know what I'm saying? I do that free of charge. I don't tell nobody, hey, give me some money, will pay me. I just do it because I know how I was being that artist trying to come up. And try to make some shake. I that, got that's good for you too, because yeah. people look at you like, "Hey, he didn't try with nothing, but he gave him this game." I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to bless his game one day. Yeah, when it comes but back that, but that's what I was saying earlier when we was talking about, you know, when you when you feel stand up dude and you're doing something, they ain't got no, they ain't gonna say no. Mm-hmm. But that mm-hmm. they ain't gonna say no, but they act like the, when you reach out to them for something or something, they they don't respond. But they don't say nothing bad. I done seen that. Yeah. And I'm cool with it. It motivates you. Yeah, of course. It it gives you more tougher skin. Exactly. And it it makes you stronger. Exactly. It makes you go harder, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Like, right now, I'm like, if I I want to, if I I can go put some music out, and I know what to do to get myself going, even right now. Mm Mm-hmm. I can do that. When I do it, it's trouble for you because I don't forget. Well, at least you got a you got a name and stuff and yeah. And, and but what about those people who don't have a name and who out here they putting money up, they acting like they got it on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um but then you look at the streams, a lot of them fake views, mm-hmm. a lot of them a lot of them fake uh uh uh, uh fake subscribers. Yeah. Fake so yeah. how are these people really making money? Nah. In, 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 in the music like that. Nah, they ain't making no money. So it's a lot of times, because I've had people on here and I ask, man, are you making money? And they video look like they got it, but then they really not getting it from the music. No, nah, nah, you're not making money from music doing that. Just be on honey. Like, because you got to think about it. You're, getting, you're buying fake views and, you know, you got fake followers. Who, who's seeing your stuff? Exactly. Like, who looking at it? Yeah, who really looking and at it? And how can you go book a show? You can't. You know, nobody right. know you like that. Yeah, I used to say that all the time. With the boogie movement, when we when when stuff was hot, you know when something hot, especially from out here. Because I'm gonna yeah. tell you, when something hot, 
it's gonna they're gonna get booked in Tyler. You're gonna see them do the East. The, they call it the Chitlin Circuit. You're gonna see them do uh, That's East crazy. Texas. I just heard it. Uh, we keep day. saying that. I know. No, no, everybody. I heard, no, saying no. That. I heard it outside of this place. No, 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 no. We have heard that. That is a main thing, yeah. right? You yeah. heard that probably yeah. four times today. Yeah. So the chilling circuit, you're gonna get booked in East Texas, do the Tylers and all of that. Then when it grows some out, you're gonna go to Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be in Shreveport. You're gonna be in Monroe. You're gonna be like it's gonna you that's where you're gonna be. Then you get booked in, you'll see you in Oklahoma, stuff like that. It's like it Arkansas, spreads you out. It spreads you out. That's how you know when when somebody really moving, when somebody's stuff really popping, you're gonna see them. That's 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 where they shows is being posted at. Hey, you how you saying that show with Mo Three was going? He started going to yeah. East Texas first. Yeah. Like he started yeah. going to East Texas. He yeah, always yeah. Well, like East Texas. was. All them was. Like everybody everybody at that time, that's how that's how I stayed up on them. Like, okay, they moving now. You know? Okay, they stuff going now. Cause that's where you go. I'm like, shoot, all of the jewelry and money and all that, that's cool. I I know you're getting money. But your music ain't catching people yet because I don't see you moving yet. So then when I started seeing them go to East Texas, I'm like, all right, they they finna start moving there. And that's what happened. Next thing you know, you just see it. They start, they they going everywhere. They go everywhere that I'm saying they that what I just said. Cause that's how it go mm-hmm. from right here. Cause that's the surrounding cities. And the craziest thing is Houston is like the last one. Wow. Cause Houston, Houston, they go, they hear you. We know y'all, we know y'all pumping out there. But when you come out here, you this is your promo. Because we know we can take you to the next level, but now Dallas is a bigger market. Wow, you know what I'm saying? People don't know that Dallas is a bigger market. Everybody's out here. There's so many celebrities that do live out here that you don't know, but they they you don't know that they live out here, but they out here. So why you think when you see stuff now, like look at TikTok, look at the the thing, what they doing, everything that they doing is what we was doing in the boogie movement. They they mimicking the words that you're saying in the song. Well, that's what all of them was doing on them YouTube. You know, now that's a worldwide thing that everybody do. Mm-hmm. It started right here. They wasn't doing that before. It started right here. You listen to the sound of the music and all of that. Come from here. You, that's why you see so many artists be like, "Man, they took my song," because they probably heard your song out here. They probably heard it and then taking it to do something else. But not only that. You got producers, you got writers. That's all out here. Live out here, writing for these people, and they giving them the sound. They giving them the sound, just like yeah. Lil Ronnie, Lil, Lil Ronnie Mother F. He he wrote like shout out Lil Ronnie. Yeah, shout out to him. He he wrote like Iggy Iggy's new tape. Yeah, he was here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it's stuff like that that people don't understand. That it's more than just and being he wrote an from a lotto too. Mm-hmm. It's more than just being an artist, like. There's so many other things you can tap into and still be make rich money, and make right? money out here, mm-hmm. you know, just off of the industry because it's here. It's always been here. What? Okay, so BM, um, after the after that song, with that song, do you feel like it was such a big hit that it was hard to come back from it? Uh, I feel like it was only hard because I didn't know. I didn't know what to do. Like I said, I was uh, me and my manager, we both was fresh. You know what I'm saying? Who's your manager? It was Ricky Booger. Yeah, I talked to him. Yeah, Ricky. He was just on the show. He got breakfast. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. He just Uh, left. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ricky came on. Uh, Matter of fact, his artist as well came on. Yeah, he got got a new artist he named Uh, Austin Graham. Yeah, yeah. But he mentioned you. He he did mention you. Now that because we we learned together. He's super dope dude though. Yeah, he cool. His heart right. Yeah, everything everything we learned together. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like the only reason why we disconnected was because. At the time, he had uh, he got into other things. He's an entrepreneur, so you know he was looking at other things, clubs, everything yeah. else. And I'm just like, hey, I got that had that main focus, music. right? Yeah. And I was telling him like, hey, man, this some this 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 new wave that's coming. It ain't like we think. It ain't the uh, radio. I let cause we was going to radio. I'm like, nah, this new wave is this internet. Yeah. You need a marketing person. You need mm-hmm. a branding person. You know, and he's like, nah, nah, you don't need that. Yeah, it's going to come. I'm like, nah. You seen it. Way. Yeah. You got to flip. I, I study. I'm you got to flip, right? Yeah, I'm a person. I study. I study I, every, everything. So I seen it. I said, man, this shit coming. Soldier Boy made that whole get right. But see, Soldier Boy did it before the boogie movement. It was just, it was, you know who it was that kind of put that wave in? It was the, the I call them the, the backpack scene. The underground, 
like the uh the the Kendrick Lamar's and the Lupe Fiasco's and all yeah. of them, the you know the the cool kids, all of that. Yeah. Chance rap. <clears throat> yeah, but this was before him. That but that was the that that style of kids and genre. Yeah. For real. Yeah, that's who made it go that way because that's what they was doing. They was on the internet. Lil Wayne. No, uh, Lil Wayne was still Lil Wayne was big, so anything he did was gonna go everywhere. But I'm talking about as far as how people was finding new music and finding these new artists, they was all on the internet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Doing these blogs. They was doing them blogs and all of that. So that's what you would see. That's what you that's what you would see. That's what that's how the that's how the world was going. And I was like, man, that's this is finna be the new wave. And when I say a year later, everything just mm. concerts. So did you ever have beef with anybody when it come down to like traveling? Nah. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, like y'all went on a concert together and they came out. You know, people like like Jay Cruz was talking about how he brought um, Jeezy out and he he called him Little Jeezy because he he was bringing out Lil Wayne and Lil yeah. Jeezy at the same time. Mixed up. <laughs> and he mixed yeah. it up and he said, man, he felt bad after that every time he seen Jeezy because yeah. he knew he messed up he his messed moment. Up. Yeah. But he say uh, they, they they booed him off to say, get out of here, you don't know, no Lil Jeezy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, nah, I ain't never. I was just saying, what's the craziest thing ever happened to you when you came out? Uh, the craziest thing was like having people like that. That's that's. Stalker stuff. Really, you had one. You had a few yeah, stalkers. Man, yeah, matter of fact, in Arkansas. Really, I had a store in Arkansas, and this lady called every hotel till she found out where I was, and wow. I just so happened to be leaving finna go to the show, and they was like, "Hey, this person is on the phone saying that y'all ride," and what uh, I told my man, I'm like, "Hey, see who that is," and he get on the phone, and the lady like, "I'm supposed to come pick y'all up and take y'all there," like he like, "Nah." We supposed to take ourselves, you know. We ain't heard nothing about that. What did she say? <laughs> but she just like hung with the phone real quick. Wow. But then that's when uh, the lady like at the front desk had got like an email and was like, "Hey, they said that this person's been calling every hotel in the city looking for you. They like you be him." I was like, "Yeah." So that's when I'm like, "Oh no, nah, this is crazy." They but, stalking. Yeah, but beast. Yeah, nah, for sure. But you still performed and everything. Yeah, I, know, I was told to pull up. Still, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to pull up. I mean, pull up. Pull up. I was trying to pull up just to see how she uh, pull what, what, what she you on. Pull up. Pull up right now. Hey, what you want to pull up? She was yeah. at that show, I guarantee you. Nah, for sure. She probably was out in the crowd. She probably was. She loved you, man. Hey. Yeah, you had a secret in mind. I was trying to pull up. Stuff. Okay. Yeah, pull but up. that's, yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's weird, right? But beef and stuff, I ain't do none of that. You didn't even you know have to. You had to deal with that. I'm Man, I'm a cool person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you beef, That show that beef, you can you know, love in the game and you ain't got to be with yeah. all that stuff. If you beef with me, it's because you either, one, you don't know me. For two, you might don't like that. I probably was dealing with somebody that you probably yeah, liked yeah. or something. You know what I'm saying? Or you just, you know, you just it's a jealousy thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, right. man, I'm cool, like. Super dope. Yeah, I'm the yeah. first. I, when when we was on the road, I don't you got everybody I don't drink. cracking up. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna laugh. We gonna joke. Yeah, yeah. I don't drink. So when the promoter like, hey, I got a section in a bottle, I'm like, cool. Hey, y'all want this? Y'all want some of this? Y'all can come in this VIP with me. Y'all can drink this. I don't drink. Be him. Be him a big dude. Be him. You didn't play no football. Nah. Did everybody ask <laughs> you that? Yeah. Why? Well, I, I ain't. Uh, at the time. I, About that I music. Sweat easy. Oh yeah. I sweat hard and easy and shit. Coach said double, double the morning and night practices. I said, oh, no. Nah. He's like two man, or days. Best two or days. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, but see, I'm like, man, I ain't finna what's in there. For one, I ain't, I ain't finna, finna do uh, it. Yeah, I'm trying to go to school. I'm trying to walk through the school and be fresh. And uh, I ain't finna do that. Because for one, I ain't finna go in here and shower with all you niggas. Top three artists of all time, right? My mm -hmm. top three artists. You already uh, been thinking about it. I know you was sitting back peeping game. You like, nah, I know they yeah, gonna get I did, me. But oh, you seen it on the, when you yeah, watched the show. I always yeah. ask. But my just this is just all in general. My top three artists will be James Brown. James Brown, that's dope. Number yeah, one. Because I feel like he he birthed, you know, the whole hip hop. That's so. Yeah. What about number two? Number two, I'm gonna go with. Uh, see, that's kind of hard. I'm gonna do like a five, but number two. Uh, number two, I'm gonna have to say like Tupac because okay. you know that's how my mama grew up. I, that's all I heard, and okay. I like the message. That, you know what I'm saying? He always had a essence. Yeah, you know. What about number three? Uh, number three, I'm gonna have to go with Kanye. 
Kanye, dope. I like yeah. that. Oh, I was. I just watched the interview with him saying something about why he don't like black people. I would do the same shit too. Oh, Kanye. Yeah, I just watched it today. And that shit happened like years ago. Yeah, I just watched it. it was like, oh, you talking about that one where he was sitting down and he was yeah. like, you know. I'm really trying to do this for y'all, but y'all still going against me and all yeah. that. Yeah, like I understand yeah. why he did it. Like he ain't think keep going through that culture. Like he see he see a different trying to change, but y'all don't want to change it because yeah, y'all think he, change. he yeah, that's why he pulled away. Y'all do the same yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm trying to help you. You're not trying to help me. Yeah. Like, nah, I'm pulling away from you. Then you get mad because I pull away. Yeah, like that's just people in general anyway. Nah, that's how sure. they is. And the way I look at it, like when it comes to Kanye, a reason why I, I like his artistry. You know what I'm saying? We don't gotta agree the same on your on your on your. Your views, yeah. I don't gotta agree with your views, but your your artistry, you dope. Yeah, as long as you get, as yeah. long as you understand something about yeah. the person, like if yeah, you understand you know somebody, you can get them. Exactly, and, I, and that's how it's supposed to be. That's supposed to be, you know. Like they tell me now, the reason, the way you gain fans is who you connect with. Yeah, you, know you right about that. Who you connect with. And it's, 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 the, it's all about the vibes too Like yeah. you gotta have vibes Like if your yeah. vibes ain't right If you got some, some vibes That ain't right Then you walk in the room And you, yeah. just, you just feel that vibe with you and You gonna yeah. figure out Where it's coming from yeah. Don't look at that like Nah I don't nah, wanna go that sure. way Yeah for sure you, uh, I, I'm, I'm big on that Me too I don't Cause my no attitude is too bad Yeah Me I'm say I don't deal with no negative None of that I don't Nah me Not no more Till like Once I Like once I, my girl got pregnant it's like it starts slowing me down. I started to realize and listen about stuff. And be like, yeah. man, I gotta stop doing this, stop doing that. But it's like as soon as I stop start doing stuff, I started getting in trouble. <laughs> that you got, but you got, can't look at it like that. Cause I used to I, think I, I know what I, I know how I see it. I see yeah. it as where it's slowing me down for some fun, some oh, big yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. That's sure. how I look at it. But I don't too much to like every every anymore. everything is a lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah. Like uh, if you don't learn from your mistakes, then you're gonna do it again. Exactly. And I'm the type of person what, what, I'll what, take a negative and look at the positive in that negative. Well, you you. You be you not you don't be getting in trouble and stuff, do you? No, nah. he do. See, so, I you see know, what I'm saying. No, well, I don't. No, no. So, so no, I don't. You know, he always call me and say he don't be doing nothing wrong. But Man, he I don't be doing nothing wrong. And I always get that call. So yeah. he lying. No, I'm not. He's a liar. Man, I'll be chilling. Yeah, that's my co host. I'll be chilling. Yeah, he tell I'm, lies. I'm, I'm he can't trouble. talk to yeah. you about. He's I don't be getting in trouble. He, he's a he's the most cool. I used cat to get in trouble. trouble all the time. Yeah. I used to get in trouble. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, honesty is the best way of anything. Yeah, it's being real, being one hundred. Like, I used to get in trouble. Duh. He ain't gonna be honest because yeah. he gonna say when he get in trouble, man, I wasn't even doing that. Nah, you know, that's denied. Exactly. Yeah, you got to yeah, face up to that. He ain't gonna, he gonna, he gonna act I, like they was wrong. Yeah, I tell him, I ain't gonna lie. When I learned, <laughs> when I Listen, learned that oh. telling the, the truth is gonna get you way farther than life. I know. I stop lying about stuff. I know. Yeah. You gonna, you, you gonna take it or leave it. You know what I'm Trust saying? Me. I know. Don't take it or leave it. Outside of yourself, who the dopest rapper to ever come through Dallas, Texas? I mean, come from Dallas. From uh, honestly, I I say that, I don't know. Uh, Y'all probably heard him. This little dude named Ty Harris. Yeah, I think I have heard him. Man, Ty Harris to me. You think he's the dopest? Yeah. Better than Jason Lyric? Uh, yeah. Wow. Jason Lyric dope too. Don't get me wrong, he's dope. But with Ty, is more than just lyrics. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He's he's a He's, he's not a, in Dallas right now, is he? Yeah. 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 He he's, I need to get him on uh, the show. I hit him up. He's 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 talented. You know what I'm saying? In all specs. He make he make beats. Oh. You know, he make beats. He Jason writes, do too. He, yeah, he sings. He uh I don't know if Jason sings. Did he say he sing? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, but like he's just he's overall talented. I've seen this I've seen this boy do I'm going to call him a boy, a man. I seen this man do one song where he's rapping in three different people by himself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I seen him turn around and do a hype song, like get get lit song. And then I seen him do a positive song. You know what I'm saying? Like I just seen him do so many different type of songs and they all are like Interesting. They all gonna keep it, keep your interest. Yeah, they gonna catch your. Yeah, they gonna, they gonna catch your ear. It's gonna listen. You are gonna listen. So that's why I always I say him. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it's different. It's Bye. not what you don't think. Like you could see him. You gonna see him and be like, ah, oh, he finna talk about drugs and trap and all of that. But then when you hear him, it's like, whoa. But them the expect. best ones to listen to though. Yeah, for sure. The ones that talking positive. The ones yeah. that look gangster but talk positive. Yeah. The best ones because they've they been through. Yeah, he'll tell you. I'm from Oak Cliff, but. This is the part of Oak Cliff that, you know, I'm still rap about what's going on in Oak Cliff, but I'm going to do it like this to where the white people going to listen to it. You know, it's going to be 
Like he, I think he done sung at the national anthem on a wow. few NBA, uh, on a few NBA little things. Wow, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's just I, I think that's dope. Yeah, I like I like artistry. I like people. Like and don't get me wrong, I ain't saying that nobody else ain't got the artistry, but he's the one that don't caught my attention to where I'm like, hey, he ain't missed in my eyes. He ain't missed on nothing. When a guy bring a record out these days, and I know you say you you don't really mess with it like you used to. Mm-hmm. What do you think he has to do to be successful? Uh, you got you got to build your fan base. That's okay. the, that's the you can be successful. How do you do that? How do you do that? Yeah, you you build your fan base by you deal with like Mo three is a perfect example. Mo three has everybody like following him and loving him because of what he was rapping about his struggle. You got to connect with your people. Like if you know that you've never. You never uh, trapped. You ain't never saw no drugs. You shouldn't be rapping about that, because you should rap about what what you know, what what you've been through, what you're going through. Because that's gonna touch everybody that's been through that. That's the more. That's what you're gonna have more knowledge on. That's what you're gonna have more feelings and pain into in your music. That's gonna touch the people that's going through that. Mm. That's gonna build your fan base. Mm-hmm. If you into fashion and clothes. Then that's what you need to post, fashion clothes. And then you need to, that's what you do music. Then you rap about that. That's going to grab the people who. That's what helped Yellow on Trapping Design. Yeah, and all that. you know what I'm saying? He liked so, to wear clothes. He liked to wear To like this to day, he still wear right? those yeah. same uh-huh. designer you know clothes. And that's what every, that's what made everybody, because they like, yeah, nigga, I'm trapping in designer too. Yeah. So that's what make them, you know what I'm saying? That's that's just how it goes. You got to you gotta cater to what you know. Mm-hmm. Don't try to be something that you're not, and I feel like that's where a lot of people miss it because they not uh, they not being themselves. I get it. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense. They're I not think being a themselves. lot of people like that. I, yeah. I, it makes sense. So, so um, yeah. How, how can how can people reach Beehamp if they want to try to book him? And uh, you can get at me on Instagram. What's your Instagram? B underscore Hemp. Uh, I'm still on Facebook. B dash Hemp. Spell out the dash. Uh, that's, that's really what I'm on. Okay. You know um, what I'm saying? If it was, a, and you probably kind of answered this already, but if you could talk to your younger self about when you was, um, when you first started this yeah. Ricky Bobby uh, whole situation, what would you tell yourself? Don't be gullible. <laughs> yeah, be, pay attention. Like yeah. that was KLC. KLC, pay attention to the yeah. paperwork. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, <laughs> I, I was just gullible, though, to just people. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I want to help everybody. That's yeah. my problem. That's my problem right yeah. now. I yeah. got a big heart. Yeah. So I I try to help everybody, even if I'm yeah. not getting nothing out, getting yeah. nothing out of it. Mm-hmm. And in this industry, you you really can't do that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because people will use you as a step to get to where I need. But then when I get there, it's like, oh, who you did what? Oh yeah 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 yeah. My bad. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's dope, yeah. man. Um, the fact that um. Yeah, yeah, you said don't be be stronger, don't yeah. be so gullible. Yeah, you gotta be so gullible. You gotta, need to you, gotta, that, you gotta know at the end of the day it's business. Yeah. Regardless. You know what I'm saying? At well, the end I, of the day, when you're doing something that's business. I agree. Are you you're a stand up guy. Like I said, thank you, thank have you. your daughters like that. Yeah. To be a single parent. It's more yeah. to you than what people even know. Nah, for sure. And and I like that. You for know, sure. that's the part of this show where somebody else might have some kids out there yeah. and they don't know that they, that they, they think they by themselves. I know a guy to come here and shop, yeah. have his daughters and you know, nah, he got sure. three that, daughters. Yeah, that's so, I always, anytime, that's big what ups a to lot you, of people man. Write, write me about that. Yeah, big ups to you uh, for, uh, for, for you. stepping up to play. Thank we you. do have some black fathers out here. Mm-hmm. Oh no, they're, they're, they're around. They're, 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 they're there. But, you know, but he just takes just, close custody of Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going I'm not down in my baby mama. No, 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 you know no. what I'm saying? No, but I'm saying yeah. big ups to you for stepping up to the plate as a father. That's yeah, okay. For sure, yeah. It's okay. You and know, a lot and that's of people what, need to hear that. A lot yeah. of times women, you know, when I got my daughter, you know, uh sometimes a woman will feel like she failed when you take the child. Yeah. Uh, they 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 feel like yeah. like, damn, you know, I failed that child, but that's not That's not that's what not, it is. Not, no, sometimes, no. yeah. That and that's what I had to cuz I'm not going to lie, I had that problem. That's what started drama at first with my baby mamas. They felt like that. <laughs> And I had to explain to them, like, nah, that's not what it is. It's just more so of, you know, sometimes I might see something better than you do at the time. Mm-hmm. And, it's, and this is a team. We still a team regardless uh-huh. because I still need your help too. I still need you to do your part. Yeah. Like, it's just right now, it's better right here. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't take from you as a parent or oh, nothing like really? that because you still can, you still do your thing too. Yeah. You know well, what I'm saying? I mean, you know. Being that you got off, you got five daughters. I ain't gonna let you make it. I'm gonna go and ask you this question, man. Um, 
What do you think about Bill Cosby getting out? Um, I'm gonna say this. I don't like. I ain't supporting none of that at all, especially when it comes to women. But at the same time, too, I'm like, it's so easy to blame somebody for something, and you know, it's so easy to say you did this, and you don't know if it's true or not. So. I kind of just, just she's hard to take the blame yeah. off of you. It's hard it's, to take it off. It's, those are touchy out. subjects. I can tell you. I could ask you something even further. Mm -hmm. R. Kelly, your daughter's fifteen. Yeah. Could he be with your daughter right now? Nah. Why? See, why? Why? I think that's different. I, hold I on. Feel no. like I'm the reason I'm you asking this, I know what you're going to say because you're not going to let it happen. You're nah. going to be too protective of but your daughter. That the R. Kelly thing, I, I kind of feel like it's like this. I feel like what he was doing was pimping. Okay. Just being 100. That's what he was doing. But you went too, like, you for one, you went too far with the age thing, these young girls. For two, that the extra stuff that you was doing, that's what make it worse to people, I think. But if you really see and you listen, a lot of people, they he could, they could leave if they wanted to. They didn't leave. Oh, but these were younger girls. Yeah, so, these were younger girls. So, so I'm he, just he saying, no, but yeah. I'm saying, but where are their parents? Exactly. But if where, you hear where a lot are of them the, are saying their parents took them to the concert, let them go with them, where, you okay, should do where, that. Yeah, that, that, so, they're, so they're, so, so they're why accessories. Why did R. Kelly get in trouble saying. for that? You yeah. just said they're I, accessory. Yeah, I feel so like, they should be locked up too. Yeah. I feel like no, I'm being real. Yeah. I feel like if you, for one, I'm not going to ever take my daughters to be with no no man, no grown man, and I'm not going to be there with you every time know what's going on none of that like you're not you're not context need to come through me that's right you don't need to be talking to my my child at all none of that you know what i'm saying because obviously you know something's wrong with him yeah you know he's, you know something wrong with him for him to want to even deal with younger kids like no nah, we're not doing that and to this day like even when my my daughter's got friends that they call me dad and like oh i'm like now nah, if you need something from me call them yeah. You know what I'm saying? Call them and have them call me. Like, you don't need to be calling me, none of that. You know? Where are your parents? Let me talk to your parents. But, yeah, I understand because they can get them on yeah, the, the wrong perception. The wrong perception. Yeah, but I just I wanted to bring that out because you got five daughters. Yeah, so, guys, so. anybody that's watching, don't think I'm picking on people. I just felt like nah, this guy was a guy to ask yeah, the question. Yeah, you know? Because I, I didn't ask that to nobody else. But Bill just got out. And, like I said, R. Kelly thing with you having a 15 yeah. year old and the way you yeah. know, all the way down to an eight year old, mm -hmm. you know, um, just a good question to ask, you know. Not for sure. Uh, just to know, because for, sure. for me, having a 15 year old in there, yeah. and, uh, you know, I forget my daughter. Nah, I mean, I know what's going yeah. on. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, there's, not there's me no going reason, like they yeah. were going. No, no. There's man. no reason why you should even be bold enough to ask the question. What? Like, how did it even happen? Like, just, 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 how did it even start? They said, they, they, how, from from what the documentary said, and we don't know people, that's a legend. Exactly, yeah, that's why I, said, I really want to know how, yeah. how. I know the documentary gonna say something different than what what we yeah, really want to know. These people are saying that they took their kids to concerts, and you know, let them meet the celebrity, and then once they met the celebrity, they you know they all of these people wanted to do music, so they felt like okay, well, here's our chance to. But they you know, they should go to jail. Yeah, yeah. they accessory. Yeah, because if you let your kid do do You that, let your kid. Yeah. No, that don't even sound right. You're a parent. Yeah, but that's you what I'm saying. And if, you, if you let your kid go do that without you, like, be around this person. You're going to jail. You. Yeah. You should go to jail. You're part of you it, You understand too. what I'm saying? You it's, either, it's either everybody should be in jail or everybody should be out. One or two. Ain't, ain't no, sure. somebody should be in somebody should be out. They all should be good. Y'all should yeah. be in y'all should be out. One or two. Yeah, you gotta yeah. Be, a, be a better parent. We got to do better about our kids because mm -hmm. our kids don't. They they're they're That's innocent, you know. Yeah, like you said earlier, innocent they're innocent. Proven guilty. But no, the kid is innocent. Nah, the kid is innocent. <laughs> you, you crazy? It's you know what what you know, I, in, I just want yeah. to say that it's what you put in your kids' faces was gone. Yeah, the Bible said train the child up in the way that you would have them go, and they will not depart from it. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Nah, you know what sure. I mean? For so, sure. so man, hey man, we love you. I mean, I love y'all. And if you ever need to come through and drop that new project off because you say I'm yeah. gonna turn it back up, you know he can sure. turn it up if you want hey, to, y'all. On one, one track, one track. Nah, I told you, nigga want to rap just bad. One. That nigga want to rap BM. Nah, because, got, it, no, no, it, it ain't that. It's, it's BM because, that nigga it, no, song it, 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 it's, it's because of what he said. The way he said when he walked in, yeah. he said, "I got the image." Got, of the that's rapper. what I was just gonna say. He got. Like, he got other people like do it. I'm like, no, because I don't care. Not even the image. It's just when. It's this. This is what it is. I tell man, my my best friend is a DJ, one of the hottest DJs out here. What's his name? DJ Q. 
DJ Q, shout out, boy, you from know, Boss Talk 101. We, we, we talk all the time, and I tell him, a lot of these people, you got to have a star quality. Mm -hmm. When you walk in the room, it's got to be something about you that people pay yeah, attention yeah. to. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't got it. Some people you just walk past. Some people you pay attention to, like yeah, you that's know? how it is. You know what I'm saying? So when he walked in, they don't look at me. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm thinking he an artist. Yeah, I'm thinking he finna do an interview too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's 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 what it is. Some people just had that 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 aura about them. That that's what I be, be like, doing them too. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, you know, I did it like that. I did it that like, with yeah, Birdman yeah, and the, you know what I'm not with the Birdman. Now it was French Montana. Uh, uh, yeah, Jada Kiss, I'll never forget it, baby. Yeah. Two chains. I walked in that thing, man. I shut that exactly. thing down. You know man. what I'm saying? Shut you, it down. Yeah, you know? And guess what? <laughs> yeah, regular nigga. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I shut it down, yeah. though. They well, were well, like, who are you? I tell people I'm like, outside. nigga, I don't know. I'm from the, I'm from the country. I know. Now you're ECO. Still, you got that, you got yeah, now that I'm quality. ECO, huh? Yeah, you got that quality, and a lot of people don't know they got it. Yeah. You know, they just think like, oh, people just, you know, I got the confidence people deal with me. It's not really, it's not confidence, because a lot of people got confidence. It's you. It's yeah. something about yeah. you that yeah. draw people to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Crazy. Because I got like, everybody like me for some reason. I don't know why. No, no, I can be mean as hell. Why, why you come like and gas me. this nigga up like that? It ain't even him. It ain't him, man. You put that nigga in that bag, man. Everybody like me. Why do you like me? You? Yeah. Really? Because I feel like you're going to get in trouble. You keep my life exciting, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm old now. I'm an entertainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an entertainer. Yeah, you keep my life exciting. I'm an entertainer. you on the edge. you like, I I used to be like you. So now it's like, okay, when I look at you, I'm like, okay, I see that nigga getting to it. But then I want to make sure I'm the buffer. You know, like, I'm what I do? You should know I like you. It ain't too bad. I mean, when I call you and be like, nigga, where you at? Even for the show. It ain't too bad, I'm going to lose down. I'm like, I love you, nigga, but be careful. That be for the show. You remember that? It's sure. always been it's that not, way. I, I, you know what I mean? I ain't got nothing to do with this show. Like, don't be, don't be out here doing nothing nah, crazy because sure. we, yeah. we in it together. If something happened to you, it happened it, to me. Exactly. And I tell people that because sometimes it could, I just posted this the other day, sometimes it could just be that one call. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna never, I'm, I'm a, I posted this because this is true. I'm a person that, I'm not gonna tell you to go and do something like go get no job and then like that. Even though that might be the right thing they need to do. Mm -hmm. I want to know what you want to do, what you really want to do in life. And I'm going to push you to do that. Yeah. Because sometimes that's what you need to go and make that million dollars, of, you know, to become that person you wanted to be. Wow. It takes that person to say, do it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I, I know how it is. I know how it is. Like everybody needs that. And sometimes it's that one call that's saying, hey, man, I, I, I you doing good. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep it up. It's gonna go, and that's gonna push you to keep going. That's wow. gonna stop you from. You could have been. I don't talk so many people off of doing something dumb to themselves. Wow. Just off of telling them, hey, now nah, you looking at the look at the the positive and that negative. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That happened for a reason. Yeah. That stopped you from this happening to you. Wow. That stopped you from going here, and this could have been happening. You know what wow. I'm saying? Yeah. Like you got. That's how I look at life now. Well, you definitely like that's I said, crazy. you didn't. You didn't. You didn't. Pretty much blew it up in my face. Far as me thinking, I, I if I tried to pick it, I couldn't have picked the fact that you, 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 you're a single parent yeah. and uh, you do things yeah. outside the box. And your heart, you got a good heart, man. Oh, that's you. the kind of heart we need thank in you. Dallas with all the stuff that's been going on, transpiring. Yeah. The healing for the city. You wanted the keys to that. Exactly. You could you help him. Even even Mr. Mr. Pookie, Mr. Pookie, shout yeah. out Mr. Pookie. Nah, he, I am Mr. Pookie. And yeah, Lucci, like they, like them dudes, a, man. Yeah. Like good people, man. I done met all them guys, man. Nah, for sure. And there's some good people in the city. Yeah. And I think that this city has a lot of talent. Like I said, I don't think the mm -hmm. structure's right. Yeah. I nah, think that I nah. think we need a we need a a. a, a, a a person or a people or a group that come together and say, we this. Yeah. And stand on it. Nah, for sure. And I mean really stand on it. You know, for you got sure. a few people that saying they this. But I'm talking right. about really stand on it and then excel with it. Yeah. So it'll be respected in this market. Nah, for sure. That's I, what we need. I got, I, got a, I got a real question. What did they do for dads that they do for moms? Hmm? Like, what did they do for dads that they do for moms? I didn't know that moms got, got, uh, uh, government assistance. Do they got that too? Yeah, yeah. They can get the everybody same got, thing. It's the same thing. You have a kid. Yeah, yeah, got, yeah. It's the same thing. I didn't know. You just yeah. gotta, you just gotta go. You gotta apply for it. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Every, that, so, everything out there. That's, it's it's equalness to everything. I, that's I mean, correct. I feel as far as so we too? don't. Everything. Yeah, everything. Oh, I, I never knew that. As fathers, we just don't know. Exactly. No, I know. I the question. I didn't know. I never knew. I know because at the end of the day, I feel like. Long as you got custody and that paperwork is right, yeah. you good. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. We just told some 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 other people. 
Somebody else know now. Yeah. Wow. So, man, hey, thank you for coming on the show. Right, we, man, like I said, again, time. we love you, B-Ham. And you if you too. got anything that you need to drop, man, or anything you're coming out with, yeah. or, or if you got somebody you're trying to help, about to go to the club, come man. holler at me, man. Nah, for sure. For All sure. right, man. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. So,